successful grocery shopping. When it comes to our health and wellness, we want to make sure that we are prioritizing grocery shopping and meal prepping. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to be successful with your grocery shopping. I did a grocery haul not too long ago, so you can go look at that and kind of find out what kind of foods I got for the busy mom that's on the go all the time because I know I don't have time to cook like tons of recipes and all the things. So I get quick, easy things with minimal ingredients that way it's easy. Number one is, is we need to have a plan of what we're doing at the grocery store. We don't want to go in not knowing what we're getting without a list and just walking up and down all of the aisles. Look in your pantry, look in your refrigerator, see what things you already have. And number two is make a list of proteins, carbs, fats, veggies, and fun foods. Fill those lists Find out what foods will work well with each other so that way you're not just getting random foods. Number three can be helpful. I do not do this because I don't feel it's helpful for me, but pre-planning your meals out. So if you have your proteins, carbs, fats, veggies listed out, those ones that you love, the ones that you go to, the ones that are easy, if you pre-plan meals with those for the week, that can be helpful. Our house is a little bit chaotic and kids are in and out with sports and work and different things. So we don't pre-plan foods like that, but we do have those protein, carbs, and fats, veggies that we can put together easily and make a very balanced plate. And number four grocery tip is stay on the perimeter of the grocery store as much as you can. Those are going to be the healthiest foods. They are going to be the less processed foods. Um, those are going to be the foods that you have to cook most of the time. So try to stay on the perimeter of the grocery store as much as you can. But like I said, in your list, we have fun foods and fun foods sometimes are processed and that is okay because we have everything in moderation. So something like this is kind of what I'm talking about when you build your list of things that you enjoy that you could put together. So I could put a chicken breast with some rice and maybe some avocado with some green beans on the side, which this doesn't have veggies, but you get the idea of making a list of carbohydrates that you enjoy. This can be apples, bananas. Don't forget that fruit is a carbohydrate also. Um, honey is a carbohydrate. So if you have something that you're adding honey to, just making sure that we're building a balanced plate, we're getting enough protein, and this is going to make your grocery shopping so easy because you, when you get to the grocery store, your mind kind of blanks and you're like, I totally forgot what proteins I like. I totally forgot what I normally get. And so having this like generic list of proteins, carbs, and fats that your family enjoys will be so helpful. I do have a grocery shopping and meal prep guide for free over on my main page. If you want to grab that, totally cool. If not, I hope this is super helpful.